There's a young woman in the back here with a bright white shawl on. I don't know what you call that, a headdress. Looking over her left shoulder, she's looking at this man that you can't see off camera. He's, uh, well, he has a lot of money. Over there in the far corner, a man who barely knows the woman in front of him, yet still gingerly rubs her shoulders and shares his wine. Here, and please, don't mind me sexually harassing you. Hello and welcome, YouTube fans and friends. I am your humble host, humble and gracious as ever. My name is Bank 60s. Welcome. Hi. Thank you for returning once again as we enter back in to the world of Paradox Interactive's Crusader Kings 3. Here. First of all, if you like the content, hit that thumbs up button. Also, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification. Those three things help to uh, grow the channel, and I certainly appreciate it. Leave a comment, too, by the way. Always love that feedback. And without too much further ado... All right, we'll go ahead and push the play button. On we go. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do was check on my decisions. I am going to search for a physician. Start the search. And another thing is... A Settle. This world is full of dangers, even to a Jarl and his court. As per my request, my, service, my servants have inquired after recommendations. Now, they have assembled a few options to choose from. Apparently, Gerder is quite experienced. Alright. A poet. Uh-huh, so she can talk well. An herbalist, okay. A physician, charismatic negotiator, indeed, and uh, somewhat attractive in her own right. I will say, I think I like it. I'm going to have to pay her 50, but we'll do it. Also, this is a war that we were helping with before. No big deal, that's done. Ah, that's right. Before I go on my raids, which I have not forgotten about, uh, we got to take care of this gout because I've had it for a little while now. The time has come to treat your gout. While I am fairly certain a simple tincture would suffice, the choice is yours, my lord. Well, somebody was proposing a drastic treatment if I remember the last time. Look at this pretty lady helping me. Uh, a risky treatment may have great outcomes. No, it's too late for... Yeah, do no more than is necessary. A little brighter. Gerder insisted that my humors were out of balance and that the best way to restore them would be through bloodletting. After consulting the astronomical charts, she decided that I should be bled from my armpits and temples. The bloodletting turned out to be just what I needed. For now, the worst of my symptoms are alleviated, and the world seems a little brighter. Wow. Okay. Reduced disease symptoms for five years. Perfect timing for my planned raid. Let's look at the military. We have nine champions now. Suni, who is a great champion of ours. This was one thing I wanted to take care of. I want to get him married. We want to keep him. We'll give him uh, Mel Morta's old wife. Yeah. And at least he'll have somebody to keep him warm at night. Because we're about ready to go raiding here before too much longer. We're going to wait through the rest of this winter time gather up as many troops as we can to help defend the homeland when we go out. Our first raiding target is here. This principality of Dehubarth, which has terrorized our people for so long. When I say our people, I mean my family. Oh, crap. To the charming Yarbarad of Sudrayar, I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the war against the tyranny of Yargrimmer. So this would be, uh the new ally of Lancaster, the Jarl of Lancaster. 
I don't want to lose 750 fame. I mean, you know, so you kind of have to accept. But... All of my concubines and my wife are all older than me by quite a good stretch. I could let Berga... Berthgith go. She's lowborn. I'm sorry. I want another woman. Claimants. We'll invite some claimants. For 350 prestige. That can mean a woman comes to court here in this winter of... or early spring of 860... 894. Conla McCongalak McFinachta an insular Irishman. Uh-huh. Interesting. That is actually uh, of interest. Ooh, who is this? Hello. Thora Ingebjord's daughter. An aggressive attacker, a bastard herself, lowborn, but beautiful, calmly, boy, attractive looking by every stretch that I can tell, lustful, oh my. We will recruit her to my court. She will gain 50 opinion of me. That's a good start. Okay. New perk. Envelopment. Men-at-arms counter-efficiency. Good. Again, making our way down to strategist is the main goal here. Ally. Oh, shit. King Constantine II of Mechanid of Alba is preemptively declaring war on us. Okay, your false religion has kept your subjects in the darkness for too long in the name of God. I shall bring the true faith to them and free them from your blasphemy. Oh, shit. Okay. He may very well call in a very powerful ally. We may be facing serious danger here. Yes, call him. I'll go with this headband. All right, I'm going to take command here. Yes. Good. King Lothair of Lothringia just joined the Holy War. That's what I was afraid of. We will attach to our allies' army. And for now, enjoin our, conjoin our fates. And uh, our war against Alba has been launched whether we wanted to or not. I'm going to have to move my capital to here. I think in order to try to protect my loved ones. I could afford this band of horse... Uh, A bunch of Catholics fighting holy war. 
What is this? Wave after wave, a visage of calm. It's a rare year that goes by where I don't have cause to make use of ocean transport, given its close proximity to the Inri Sudreyar. I'd be a fool not to. Today's journey was a quick one, my presence required to adjudicate some minor dispute, leaving me to enjoy the peaceful sensation of being ferried home, watching the shoreline roll by my with nary a care in the world. Standing on the boat's deck, leaning over the side, I feel so very peaceful. The water is almost hypnotic. You lose 32 stress. All right, I didn't really have to lose that stress anyway. And by the way, I need to get uh, bar y'all barred out of there and in an army most likely. Okay, so I pay them 174 for a three-year contract. Let's do it. Theory comes of age. I'm proud to see my daughter no longer as a child but as an adult. As an active and enthusiastic child, it is no surprise that Theory has done well in her studies of war and combat. It is impressive to see such skill in someone so young. She displays a level of insight that's rare even among veteran commanders. High Chief Desfreya's contributions toward Theory's education cannot go unmentioned. Her lessons have given Theory valuable knowledge for her future life. Very good. Well... I and my raiders are going to, or my I and my army are going to take off. Maybe, just maybe, we can have these guys split up and destroy them in detail with the help of my allies. Okay, now I've got them split in half. Shoot. Okay, the only thing I can do now, since they got away, is go and siege their capital while they siege mine. Oh, uh, <clears throat> here we go. To the foppish Jarl Barid, your wicked deeds have gone unpunished. For far too long, the ch that changes today, for I have come to deliver holy retribution upon you. God have mercy on you, for I shall grant you none. He is superior. Oh, with the uh, allies, rally the troops. My God. The Christians have all aligned against us. We have these raiding armies from Scandinavia that could maybe kind of help us. Maybe we could stay close to them. <laughs> I don't really care about the land. I'll just come raid both of them. Now, what what this does is it just buys me time. Here's what... So here are my options. Fight to the bloody finish and have my family torn to shreds, most likely. And then... Or protect my family from any harm in the next couple of months. I think that this king is with his army, and I think his son is too. Which means that it's unlikely for me that I'm going to capture anything of particular value when I capture his capital. And that cannot be said for me. To protect my loved ones. So. I think I got a deal. King Costine will get all that territory. Catholic, uh, Catholicism's fervor is decreased by one. Uh, Satru's fervor is increased by three. Very good. So it has that effect of. Norsemen are going to come back to get you. Whew, so a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a <laughs> distraction from the plan once again I mean this is kind of what happens in this game in life right 
Um, but I hope things will come together. Here we go. Two years ago, you promised to aid me in the war against the tyranny of Yalgrimer, yet so far you have done nothing to support me in this endeavor. What is the point of our alliance if you never even lift a finger to help me? Dude, did you see what just happened? I apologize. I should not have claimed that I would help. I'll spend... 150, you break my alliance. No. Ugh. I will send troops to aid immediately. If I do not earn any war contribution within 12 months, I will lose a level of fame and place my alliance with Jarl Grimmer at risk. I can't afford to not do anything. So, I need to defeat these armies quickly and go help over here I cannot believe that he has not been able to hold these guys off we have until the end of the year first things first of course to get down here and uh, take care of business we can go back home now so we'll put Collier Babenberg back in charge of the army. We're safe at home now, thank God. All right, and in the meantime, we're going to take care of these guys. All right, 16 advantage. We should have, uh, should have this one won soon enough, and we'll be able to take the territory right back. One of our champions wounded. Wounded one of theirs. A kind of a crappy looking one. Maimed. Damn it. Olafur serves him right for the earlier murder, if you remember that from the prior episode. But here we are, winning in dramatic. Oh, leading us to victory. Love that. I'm going to split off a new army. Um, these guys. These guys. I'll put the mercenary captain in charge. We're going to come over here. We basically just have to put in effort over here. Get into a fight. Hopefully win. And we'll be able to keep our fame. Oh, no. My brother's dead. The recent death of my brother, Jarl Siegfroth, has left his loved ones grieving the loss of a great man. As one of those closest to the deceased, I could take up the mantle of hosting a suitable funeral. It is tradition amongst good Astroians that we bury our noblest with a boat, the better to carry them to Valhalla, and surely Siegfroth deserves such high distinction. A small symbolic stone ship will suffice. Fifty gold, I can do that. All right, here we caught up with these guys to uh, put in the effort for y'all Greemer's War, defending against this Earl. I am quite uh, gripped with grief here, a life to remember. I stand in front of a small crowd of mourners, eyes sweeping over each of the weeping bereaved in turn, and begin my speech. Siegfroth had a singular drive. Perhaps that's why he was considered a fine Jarl. A feat that he may never be surpassed in. The barrow behind me already contains a small facsimile of a ship traced in weighty headstones and filled with cobbles is already buried neath a weighty grave of earth. Retainers carry in the last of the burial treasures. Then, finally, Siegfroth's corpse is laid out atop its bier. Here we go. 
I gain 75 prestige, lose some stress. And we bring closure after the death of our brother, and we have a victory here. And maybe we bring an end to that war. Oh, my mother died. Freydis at age 56. She was infirm. Ah, oh, the passing of Ivar's old wife. How sad. Oh, I need a new marshal. Okay, uh, Chieftain Gudfrid. That looks good. Spymaster. Gudrun. Yes. This spot's been empty for a while, and my wife has been doing a great job at it. I do need these this latest war to wrap up sooner rather than later. Uh, because we're going to need to get ourselves kind of ready. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're going to have another war coming against Alva soon enough. Alright, caught part of his army that we can destroy. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I think we'll catch the rest of it now. Awesome. We're killing a lot more of them. We wounded their champion. Uh oh, one of ours was maimed. Wounded by an enemy soldier, damn it. Excellent. Great victory. The storm-wracked coasts of the Inri Sudrear make for dangerous travel sometimes, but I still enjoy sailing them. They make me feel... The vessel lurches to the side, and I am pitched into the drink. The shock of the impact knocks the air from my lungs. The sudden shift in temperature sending my body into stun shock. As I come to, coughing and spluttering underwater, my body and brain are utterly aflame. My consciousness is already draining away again. My brain choking and dimming with each second. Uh-oh. Break for the surface. I think this is what I'll do. You have been overwhelmed by stress. Okay, let's see what effect that has on me. Holy crap. I've just fallen into the water. We're under war. We were just under threat. My family, I'm trying to protect everybody. Everything is on my mind. Oh my god. By the Nords, petitioners from the realm have been queuing up lately. This work feels endless. Yet another one steps forward, evidently a distressed merchant of some kind. I'll get your problem in a few weeks, but you are not important enough for anything faster. The merchant gops at me, blinking rapidly in shock. Was it something I said? Well, what could I do for my stress? I am a Jarl. I can do this. I'll tell you what. Every time that music comes on, I gotta say, I think I like ending the episode there. Teasing the continuation. Folks, if you like this content, Folks, please give that thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel. I'd love it if you joined in. Hit that bell notification to find out when I drop new videos. I cannot wait until the next one. Folks, I love having you along. Please stick with it. Crusader Kings 3, the house ivory. Uh, I see here that uh, I am first in line to inherit the Jarldom of Mon, which my brother holds.
as okay one of his holdings uh, yeah that he had expanded into after taking root here in southern Scotland okay interesting I'm third in line for every woo, first in line for the earldom of Lennox here which is again one of my brother's lower titles but that is a territory I could covet if I wanted to take issue with my brother which I don't think I want to my opinion of him I don't know what my opinion of him is Here we go. Derbfulgail McMurgan, McMorgan, a Catholic Gaelic woman, has arrived at court. Hello. She is married to this Domnall McMail guy. So, we'll be turning her away. And while the real war goes on, in the hills outside of Inri Sudreyar, the play war goes on at home. While studying the tactics of ancient generals, I was amazed to learn about the exploits of Hannibal Barca during the Second Punic War. Known as the Enemy of Rome, Hannibal's crowning achievement was the Battle of Cannae, where his army of roughly 50,000 outmaneuvered and encircled the larger 86,000 strong Roman army. Surrounded and unable to retreat, only 3,000 Romans survived the massacre. Like Hannibal, I will annihilate my enemies. I gained 19 stress because I'm patient. Hannibal was a true master of Fabian tactics. Logistician. Flexible leader is good. Let's do this. Flexible leader. Well, our alliance expired anyway. She got divorced. He... Wow. He divorced her and kept her at his court? Wow. Jarl Grimer divorced my daughter. I'm going to bring her back. Absolutely. Absolutely. 